Relief efforts are continuing in areas hit by severe storms. I spoke with Oklahoma Insurance Commissioner John Doak about the relief efforts and the long road ahead for recovery and rebuilding. Commissioner Doak, it's been about two weeks since tornadoes raked central Oklahoma. Where do the cleanup and recovery efforts stand? Well, the cleanup and recovery efforts stand is we're very engaged, the Oklahoma Insurance Department is, in all the 16 counties impacted areas. Uh, one of the main questions right now in those areas is uh, the immediate debris removal. But we've got uh, folks that have had, uh, we've, we know that we have over 23,000 claims that have been opened uh, since the date of the tornado. We know that folks have gotten uh, loss of use, additional living expense, advances, checks, temporary housing is something of the first order that folks are finding uh, getting a place to stay, whether it's with a loved one or at a hotel, uh, and those folks out there with special needs. I know that the insurance companies are kind of triaging those to make sure that those kids and families are taken advantage of that may need, uh, again, have special medical equipment or special uh, special needs uh, children out there, and there are, there are a lot of those. So they're really triaging those, making sure those folks are taken care of. Uh, we've had many, many meetings with consumers. Uh, we've recently, uh, there's been some uh, events down in the area at some local churches where the Oklahoma Insurance Department, we've been able to speak and help folks understand their insurance. So again, there are thousands of claims underway, uh, and the things is that we want folks to be, take care of themselves, uh, make sure they're getting copies of their policies, they, may, they won't have anything, uh, and the insurance companies are getting those to them. So we want to make sure that everything kind of goes back to that policy terms and condition uh, by these individual companies. So we're working with consumers on that and also with the threat of uh, weather that's still facing our state, uh, sending out the message to uh, other Oklahomans, uh, get that home inventory done, take those pictures, be weather prepared, be ready uh, because uh, the storm season is not over. How is debris removal handled? Who pays for it? Uh, debris removal, if you have an insured loss, uh, then there will be a portion of your policy for debris removal. And each individual policy will have specific terms and conditions related to that. We've got a bulletin up on the Oklahoma Department of Insurance website. The city of Moore uh, has a bulletin specific to the city of Moore residents. But you need to make sure, keep your receipts for debris removal. Uh, you can have the city do that or you can have private contractors do that. But make sure you keep the receipts because Ultimately, those receipts need to be turned into the city of Moore. City of Moore is then going to work with FEMA, but uh, those consumers out there that are having that work done and being compensated for that, it's, it's, it's very critical that they track all the receipts for debris removal. You've been on the ground around the state, especially in Moore. So have insurance agents and adjusters. Are they still in Moore in the central Oklahoma area and for how much longer? Absolutely. They're going to be in central Oklahoma in the Moore area for, probably for the next two years. Uh, it is going to be a long-term recovery effort. Uh, we've licensed, we have uh, have folks come in from out of state, probably close to 2,000 adjusters from out of state that are here to help their catastrophe adjusters. They move from major catastrophes, they're seasoned professionals, uh, and they're here in the area and they'll be assisting Oklahomans. Uh, so they, this is a long-term recovery and I expect uh, two years at a minimum. What happens to people that don't have home insurance or people that are renting? Uh, people that are renting, you know, a renter's insurance is critically important and we've done PSAs, you know, for the last year related to the need for renter's insurance. Uh, but if there's a, someone out there that has no insurance, then they need to kind of, they need to make sure that they have a FEMA number, uh, get set up with that and then work through the nonprofits, the United Ways. We've had some wonderful charities step up here in the, in the metro Oklahoma City area all across the state that I think are going to be able to try to allocate those dollars based upon that charity's uh, uh, really their, their mission goal. So uh, we know that Oklahomans are opening their, their checkbooks and their hearts and helping. Uh, and there's an awful lot of folks out there uh, that, that need help right now. Insurance Commissioner John Doak, thank you. Absolutely.